Morning folks, Andy Truck Day and the Truck Coming to you today from Grant and Edinburgh A wee bit cloudy, patchy 12 degrees, really warm though for this time of year um, Reason for the vlog this morning The Governor General Alistair Jack <coughs> Alistair Union Jack was on the, on the radio this morning Between 8 and 8.15 BBC Radio Scotland Explaining to the horrified presenter that as far as he and Westminster was concerned, <coughs> even if there's a landslide for the SNP and pro-independence parties and the 2021 election here in Scotland, there would be no second independence referendum. They don't recognise their democracy. When it was pointed out to him that the UK was a voluntary union, he waffled about the most successful union ever and how... The nations within that union have ceased to be and have become one. That was the essence of what you had to say. Um, and to be fair to the BBC presenter, she tried. But he was thick-headed, he wouldn't listen, and she was horrified. Absolutely horrified. You could tell in her voice that she was horrified. And then, right behind him... Right behind the Governor General, the, the dictator of Scotland, um, came Dr. Philippa Whitford, MP, SNP MP. And the questioning was along the same line. Do you think 2020 is the right date? Do you think this? Do you think that? And she basically ripped Alistair Jack's argument to shreds. Now, Alistair Jack didn't stay to get into a debate with Dr. Uh, Dr. Philippa Whitford. No, no, no. He said his piece and did a runner. So there was no ability to question him, nothing. Give the BBC presenter her due, she tried. But she was aghast and agogged at what she was hearing from Alistair Jack. Dr Philippa Whitford, of course, she made it quite clear that the stance taken by the UK government just won't stand. It won't hold. Popular opinion in Scotland will rock it. Um, because of this stance taken by Westminster. But this is important, folks, really important. And this applies to no voters and yes voters. At this point in time, this is about our right to choose. Remember, no voters, your right to change your mind. Remember, yes voters, your right to change your mind. Now, unionists, as I explained the other day, they don't just ignore unionists. You know, they're crackpots. You know, Sammy Wilson, Arlene Foster, that sort of people here in Scotland. Crackpots. You know, the type that march through their schemes with their silly wee flutes and their military uniforms banging big drums. You never get through to them. They're unionists, even if the union leaves them starving, naked and uh, homeless. They would still be unionists. Ignore them. This is for yes and no voters and Democrats, because this is about democracy. You know, this is about the right to choose. We've got the Governor-General and Boris Johnson telling us our voices don't matter. Now, it doesn't matter if you voted no in the last referendum. It doesn't matter if you vote yes in the last referendum. We have to come together to demand the right to choose. We then go off and campaign in more different fields. But we need to demand that right to choose. And as for this crap about a never end them, you know what? I don't think there's anything wrong with readdressing the question when something changes. And I'm almost sure that most of you people feel the same way. No voters and yes voters. You know, we're entitled to change our mind. It's democracy. And it's the reason why we have elections every five years. It's to take another look. Take the Tory party, for instance. Fix, fix the Parliament Act. They broke it twice. 2017 and 2019 because they didn't like the outcome. It didn't give them the muscle in the, and it didn't give them the majority they wanted to do what they bloody well want. So they had two elections. They decided that actually the public were too stupid when they voted the last time and they haven't given us what we want so let's go back to the public again until we get what we want. So this nef never end them shit. This crap for the Tory party, I never end them, I never end them, I never end them. I, I never end them. I've said this before, I don't want less democracy. I want more democracy. I want my say. I want my say in everything. 
explained this before, assisted dying referendum, immigration referendum, a, a foreign policy referendum, let's find out what the people think. Put it before the people, before you do everything. It's only five million years. I mean, the Swiss do it. I want mere democracy, I don't want less democracy. And I'm certainly not having some jumped up landowner over, landowner for the south of Scotland telling me that my voice doesn't matter no matter how I vote. Because yes voters and no voters, that's what he did. Dr. Philip Whitford made it quite clear that the people of Scotland won't take that. Well, it's up to us to make sure that she's right. Email him. Email his servers, crash his servers, right to the newspaper column, column pages, right to the Prime Minister. Let's be a real pain in the side for these people. Anyway, disgusting performance by the Governor General of Scotland this morning, Mr Alistair Union Jack. Better performance by Dr Philippa Whitford. Go to go, Andy Truck Davy, and the truck, coming to you today, Free Edinburgh, Granton, no bad morning. Mere democracy, no less. Have a nice day.